no matter where you're from. <laughs> Hello people, this is Mr. Thorson, and today is a really, really special day. Uh, if you didn't know this last night on Xbox or PS3 Live, we all, we all know that's the, how the internet is. Uh, a favorite old 90's game has come back. Yes, a game that I swear brought back so much horror in, in a good way. You know, what I'm about to say is really going to be for everyone. Um, Marvel Super Heroes and Marvel vs. Capcom Origins. Yes, two games for the price of one, people. Yes, I am really, really shocked when I started on this announcement about a while back and having them good styles in the games. I mean, when you think about early 90s, when you come, when you come to the, the term arcades and home consoles, and the arcades at that time was still in their peak, and this is one of them. I remember a lot of games, I can remember fighting games that would come in and come and pass my life. Uh, it was like X Men, then with uh, X Men Adam and the Children, then with Street Fighter, then with Mortal Kombat, there was a lot of them. But when I heard about this game, I'd probably been around the same time in high school. I was in love right in the start. Um, first of all, let's talk about the Marvel superheroes um, with the first game. So, in the first game, you can play all your, your True Blue superheroes and Capcom. You, know, you, got, uh, you got Wolverine, you have. Uh, Captain America, you have Juggernaut, you have Iron Man, you have the Hulk, uh, you have uh, Thanos, you have uh, a, a Blackheart, I'm thinking it's Blackheart, if not, um, yeah, Blackheart, yeah, now see, I can't remember that much, I had to go back and watch YouTube videos and try and remember that was Blackheart, but, um, but in a way, this is what, you know, being a true, like, true comic book nerd if you was that's good if you wasn't you still love the gameplay the gameplay which is awesome it has to turn around with the gems that's going to be in a future movie wink wink yeah let me see how Capcom did on, on that cash bank on that one um, so yeah the gems are like the, the, the whole round of stories so each gem we know is do different things reality power uh, soul everything they do and you have to get them and but each character has his own different storyline that's what was so kind of weird because it would be like one different storyline different even the bad guy got a story, um, storyline but the gameplay itself was probably the meat and potatoes of that time and that era because at that time you just basically just punch him punch him kind of way but now everybody was stringing combos stringing attack this is when I think the combo thing was catching in, you know, you try to do these nifty moves, like if you got Spider-Man, Maximum Spider, and you still bounce that person up at the same time, and you, when you hit that Maximum Spider, you still get guard damage, or if you have Wolverine, Berserker Bow, if you, if you time it just right, you can probably get a decent combo, up to, I see people do like a third hit combo just on their own, but Star Trek, even, even after the Juggernaut, that I really hate what people use, because he was like overpowered, everyone overpowered, even the people who haven't used the Hope well, it will be two, two Juggernauts, and who will, will the best player win, and most people just play the Juggernaut, because once you hit, we all know if you hit the Power Stone, you become super armored, and you just blow right through the competition like with nothing, but yeah, still good memories of me popping quarters, and trying to get the highest score in that game. Second game come up that really even shocked me more was Marvel vs. Marvel vs. Capcom. Now, Marvel vs. Capcom, not true classic. Um, I know a lot of people had emulated this game on a computer multiple times, but this is one of the games I think really shows how both games in the 90s are coming back strong. And this one, you get all the favorites, you get most of you didn't see in a while. They had a nice little selection um, box in what carriage you use. So, how many uh, characters you do you have? Like, it was up to five. You time you. I think people had time. The side characters with the main characters so perfectly, even a combo will be like nothing to them. Um, but a lot of de details with Capcom and uh, a lot of um, fans. And I think why Capcom, I think I know why Capcom did it. Just have people to shut the hell up about Mega Man. And now we get a second time with Mega Man with Marvel vs. Capcom. So, you know. You know, that's my that's one of my theories. You know, they say well people won't stop complaining about Mega Man. Here we go, we give Mega Man one more time. So yeah, that was kinda like mm, their part. You have to look behind look behind the picture and see surprise right there. So, um yeah, but that's still old school favorite. So I know I played it last night, I played the demo that much. You you in the um Marvel Superhero you play Spider Man and Wolverine. In the um Marvel vs. Capcom you play Wolverine, Chung Lee, uh Wolverine, Chung Lee 
Ken, oh uh, not Ken, sorry, Ryu and Spider-Man, sorry, Ken's not in that one. I always love Ken in that one, but I love, well, I love Ken in the early game, but I don't know why they put Ken in this one. They did it with Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but that's a different story. But yeah, this is old school favorite. I downloaded it last night. I didn't notice. I was playing it up to like midnight. Like, wow, would I really want to get this full game? Yeah, this is a really good game. I mean, we see how come games coming out right now. We've seen with Super, uh, Super Stri um, Third Strike, that was kind of a good school. And then we saw Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now we got two games, once again, two games and the price of one. So it's not a review or anything. This is my opinion. If you love old 90s arcade feeling, and I know you will, and I know you was waiting for this game to come out, get it. It's $14. On the PS Network, I'm not sure how much on the uh, Xbox One, but you know it's the same price range. So, you know it's really good. Two games in one. Once again, the third time I mentioned it. So tell me what you think. Are you old school fanatic like my, my like myself who love fighting games in the early '90s, or you're glad to see this game comes out in a two set um, kind of digital common pack? I like to call it. Give me your thought. Tell me what you think about the game. And I'll come back with a com com uh, commentation and we can talk about it like I do in all videos. We just talk about it like old school gamers in the early 90s.